Hi, I want to talk about the triatests that we have. So triatests are these chapter wise tests. They are for 15 marks and they fit into the one period that we have. In fact, they're slightly shorter than a period, 30 minute long tests for 15 marks based on single chapters that the kids have to do. They start in grade six when the seventh grade curriculum starts. It's only for mathematics to begin with. And then when the 10th standard curriculum starts, these tests are for all subjects. So that happens at different points. Uh, some subjects, it starts from 8th when the students are in 8th standard. For some, it starts, they start in, for 9th standard, they have them for all the subjects. For some subjects, they start in the 8th grade itself because the 10th standard preparation starts right there. The thing about these triad tests is that they sit in the classroom to write these tests. So... In a normal exam format, you have like an 8th grader sitting with a ninth grader or a 10th grader or something. So the bench partners are writing different tests, but that doesn't happen in a triad test because every class has it, every subject will have it at a different time. When the lesson is taught, they have one period of revision and then there's this testing. So all the kids sitting together in the classroom, they're writing a test on the same curriculum. So what we do is we give them all different papers. There are four different papers that we set. There's a set A, set B, set C and set D. So with these four sets, what happens is if you draw a three by three grid, you will see that if the kid in the center is writing set one, then we distribute set two, three and four. If this is set A, then there's B, C, you know, all around. So the, there is no direct neighbor who is writing the same set as you for anybody. So on a bench, there are two kids sitting. So they get set A and B. The children sitting behind them get set C and D. Then again, A, B, C, D and so on. And then the next row. So when you look at it in the grid, you will see that no two adjacent people are writing even adjacent behind or in front in any direction no two adjacent people no two adjacent students are writing the same set they all but every child gets all four sets of the question paper so you have that reference as a question bank for studying later but every student is answering one set as instructed okay now comes the neat part so they write this test and in india passing marks are 35 which is because we are not a developed nation. In all developed nations, passing is 60, which makes sense, right? To pass, you need to know more than half. You can't know one third of the curriculum, not know two thirds and be allowed to pass. But that that's how India is right now. But in the developed world, it is 60%. Walnut students are coming from privileged homes. And the whole idea is that they need to be ahead of the rest. So for the triad tests, for all walnut tests, passing is 60%. If you get less than 60%, you failed. Now what happens if you fail? You have to write the test again. And when do you write it again? In the sports period. So they miss the sports class, they write it again. And if you had to write set C and you failed set C, you have to write set C again and now the passing marks are 80% because you know the paper. And of the other sets, A, B and D, we will give you any one random paper and you have to pass that also. So if you fail in a triad test, you have to write two tests. And the first test which you are repeating, you have to get 80% marks. And the second random one, again you have to get 60% marks. So you are going to miss two sports periods. And also, if you fail these again, the parents have to come and then you have to stay back after school and write these tests and the parents have to sit with you and so on and so forth. So study for these tests. Do not fail the triad test. Make sure you're studying the questions or the test is not designed for anybody to fail. The test is designed to check basic understanding. The questions are only easy and medium level questions. There are no hard questions because it's the first test that the students are writing based on the lesson. This is 
right after the lesson is taught there is one day of revision one period of revision and then the, on the next day the try test happens so that's how it is and we expect students to study every single day because you know that once the try test starts for that subject there is a try test coming after every chapter is over it is not a surprise and therefore every student must study regularly and here comes the interesting thing again if you are absent if you are absent we will give you any two try tests to write and you have to score 80% in both so don't be absent and it can be any reason you could be sick you could be out of town you could be just trying to bunk because you're not prepared but if you miss it it gets worse so don't miss the try test attend the try test study for the try tests they are not a joke there's a lot of effort that is put into setting four different question papers there's a lot of effort into conducting the test there's a lot of effort put into checking the test and there's a lot of effort that the parents put into getting the kids to school you know um, getting all the resources so the kids can come to school and the kids should not be taking any of these for granted or wasting any of these and we're doing all this to get them sharp to get them regular to get them into good habits and that is why this whole system is designed around the try tests as well to make sure every single student stays on track very regular and the thing is that if these small chapters are done properly you have to if you want to do well in the try test you have to do your homework sincerely now what is the homework every day it is going through what was taught in the school today properly and doing the question answers in a very sincere way reading through the material doing the question answers taking the practice quizzes and then doing the test bite after the entire lesson is taught this is what is expected of the students and it's not a whole lot and if all of this is done properly on a regular basis there is not a whole lot of pressure and you still manage to get very good in fact you get excellent results and this is the secret for any task that you want to do any project that you want to undertake you make sure you're taking you're planning out the small steps and you're executing them properly you know you have to take small sure steps on a regular basis every single day and all these deltas give a wonderful compounding effect this is what we call the virtuous cycle and why do we start them for mathematics because mathematics is the hardest subject all over the world the reason it is hard is because it requires a little more thought and people don't put in that extra thought they don't put in that extra effort when you put in that extra effort it doesn't stay hard anymore it requires practice so this is how we make sure that everybody practices and it also incrementally builds on top of each other so if your lower level skills are not solid your upper level is not going to be and then you know you start oh i don't have an aptitude for math and all of that it's okay to not like math but you should be able to do it and that's why it starts with mathematics because we suddenly cannot do anything about mathematics at a later stage and then it starts in for all the other subjects as well so that's the try tests they are coming after you and uh, make sure that you're studying for it you're preparing well every single day and that you're doing a good job you're attempting them sincerely and your practice tests and unit tests will be a breeze i promise you if you put in the effort every day if you show up with sincerity for the stuff that you are expected to do you will do very well there is no way you will not succeed there is no way you will not excel so mature enough at 6th uh, grade in the second half of 6th grade to handle it we know that the kids are and that's a good beginning and let's do this journey together let's do well and let's crack any task we undertake be it an exam be it a project and when you grow up later be it a presentation be it a sales pitch that you have to you know do really well and a client that you have to convert you will do it well because you know the hard work that has to be put into it regularly and then things go ahead seamlessly okay thank you